back feeling better. I know you, the team said it was precautionary, but you feel good being back out there. Yeah, I feel good, yeah. Just watching the game last night, what did you think about Josh uh, as somebody who runs that position? Um, I mean, I love seeing him run the point. It takes, it takes uh, a lot of pressure off me also. Um, it allows me to do different things on the floor. So seeing him, him and being comfortable with him being able to do that um, is great for this team because, you know, it means you can move me in different positions and different spots. He said there was, like, less ball screens than when he had the ball in Miami. Would you say, could you see that that would be an adjustment kind of playing point guard for this specific team? Really yeah, de uh, definitely. You see a lot of other teams running different sets and things like that. Um, and, you know, with this organization, we kind of have a, a system that we, we like to play in. We move the ball, we share it. Um, we're a bigger team, so we're able to throw it inside and cut and move more. Um, so we have that luxury of doing that. Then, um, do you expect to play Friday? And if so, what, do you, what would you like to get to yourself out of your final Um It really just depends on, you know, how it feels. And my main focus is making sure uh, I'm ready to go for, for the opening night. Um, that's, that's the priority. So uh, if I play, I play. Um, but I'll, I'm very confident I'll be 100% um, by the time Boston comes. So. How, how did it go today in practice? I know they said you didn't you, you did individual work. Or no, I feel great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it, I mean, he's getting the, the hang of it. He's he's fine. He's a smart player. He's got a high IQ, so um, I'm not really too concerned about his play calling. Um, I, he's gonna be fine. Hey Ben, when, when you guys decide to Just the way he communicates in practice and, and on the floor, uh, he's trying to help everybody get better from you know the young guys to the older guys and Joel and me and Josh. Uh, he's, he's very wise, so uh, for him to be able to do that and come to a new team and be a leader um, is, is huge for us. Talked a lot the last few weeks about kind of the passion of the game you've got. It just, really gonna have it just meant, I think, prior to everybody getting here and everybody signing, um, I already felt that. Uh, and that's just based off, you know, me putting in that work and, and being in the gym every day. Um, and then, you know, with the addition of the new guys, it helps. Um, you got a great team. The guys want to be here every day. Um, guys enjoy being around each other and just want to play. This is the uh, second lead in the pro try uh, this morning. Why was that meaningful to you? What was that yeah. to you? I just, I just try to do everything I can to help people. Um, and if it's coach, it's coach. If it's food, whatever it is, um, in any way I can help kids out you know, during the winter or with school and things like that, I love to do that. So um, I'm in, uh, I'm in a, a great position to be able to help other people. Yeah, you know, with, with so many uh, new faces, what's kind of the biggest positive you've seen this preseason? Um, I feel like everybody is, is very motivated. Um, you know, Al leaving Boston, Josh coming from Miami, the Rooks come in, the T's have been killing. Um, guys just have a chip on their shoulder. Right? I feel like guys just want to be better and win a championship. Um, and that's the level we're at. I think we have a great team. You don't have a chip on your shoulder, do you? No, not at all. You've taken a lot of pride in your leadership, uh, especially this uh, this training camp. What have you seen from a guy like Sheik who's coming into his second year and, you know, he's, he's obviously he's going to do it? He's, uh, he's surprised me. He's been working hard, as you can tell. Um, he looks confident. Um, he's found his flow in, in, in the game um, and, and playing at the NBA level. So I'm happy for him. He's been doing really well. I know, I know, the, uh, I know the shooting stuff has come up a lot. Um, why, why would you be able to get this team where you want to go without being a volume shooter? The question. Like why? Why will? Why will you guys be able to get where you? I know you guys. I know you don't think you need yeah, to do it. Yeah. So like, why will you? It's why not that I don't need to do it. It's just something I'm working towards and getting better as a player, as you would do as a rider. Everybody works to get better. From him behind the camera, you know, it wasn't the best the first day he started. Um, and that's just my game. You know, I'm, I'm confident saying I'm not a great shooter. I'm getting better though. Um, but it's, it's a game. There's five people on the court. Um, I lack something that I'm not as great at, but in other areas I'm very great at. I run the floor as well as anybody. Physically, I can rebound the ball at 6'10". I'm a point guy I can guard one through five. Um, 
but that's just one thing that's coming into my game, which I'm excited about. I love getting better. I love uh, spending time in the gym and building that confidence. Thanks, Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Pat.